Welcome back. We're going to talk about day 44, which was yesterday, Saturday. And in our video before that, the last one that was in this series, you may have heard us talk about the farmer's market. Because we did. Because we showed up at 3 a.m. yesterday, Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. In Tampa. We went to three different farmer's markets. Whoa, what was that? Stick. Okay. And um, were they worth it overall? Was it worth going? Just... Mm -mm, not really. Well, it was worth figuring out that there's... The quantities are too large for a couple to effectively Who's living buy out of the car. stuff at the farmer's market. Yeah, we don't have a refrigerator for all that fruit, so even if we did, I think it would still go bad by the time we eat it. So it was worth going and getting a pink pineapple, I guess. That's what we got. And we'll have a, another video on the channel about the pink pineapple. One day when I get to release it, mm -hmm. I got to catch up on my backlog. That'll be tomorrow, trying to catch up, not the videos, but I gotta, I gotta do so much more work uh, from these events, grants, and taxes I gotta pay before the end of the year. But anyway, then what do we do after that? Then we left that area, we went for a hike in a wilderness area in northeast of Tampa, which I thought was pretty neat. It was a lot of bikers there, it was paved, so we went on the hiking trail and it was an interesting experience, I think. Right. We didn't see any wildlife, but it was a nice flat trail. Yep. And then we went to a cat cafe. Well, that was actually be right after that. We went to a coffee shop. We went to downtown Lakeland, which was east of there, and yeah. then we went through Munn Park, walked around the downtown, had something to drink there, and then went to the cat cafe. Right. And what was your opinion of the cat cafe? We have we will have separate videos for all these things. We will. It was nice. Crowded, but there were enough seats for all the guests, and the majority of the cats there were kittens, which was fun because they were playful. Yeah, but you said they weren't very friendly, though. Uh, they were all pretty skittish. Yeah, there was one nice one, the gray one, and someone always had a hold of it, so I never got to hold him because we were in a hurry to get over to Victor and Mika's bakery and cafe. Yeah, and that was, that's in nearby Winter Haven. And I did the math right before we got into the cat cafe and I realized that we were not gonna be able to make it with electricity. Mm -hmm. But I was able to find a level two charger at a hospital, which was like five blocks away from the downtown, which is where the restaurant is. Mm -hmm. So we were able to go there and I was able to verify that there's only two charging units and none of them were being used. So we went over there, plugged in, and we, we stayed plugged in for like three and a half hours, I think. And we got lots of range with what we needed to make it down to Arcadia. But then you can talk about how that went for dinner and walking around the town. Yeah, I thought we went to Winter Haven. Yes, dinner. Winter Haven. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Did I, say, I said something different? You said Arcadia. <laughs> oh, well, eventually we ended up in Arcadia because we got all that range. Yeah. But how was Winter Haven with the restaurant and uh, uh, the rest downtown? The restaurant Victor Mika's was great. The food was delicious and Mika is such a, a pleasure to talk to uh, but then uh, yeah in Winter Haven is really cool we'll too. have a video on that also we walked downtown around there there was a ugly sweater Christmas party going on at this little brew house where you can self-serve your beers <laughs> and all of the bars and restaurants just looked really friendly there wasn't any fighting going on or arguing I didn't gunshots <laughs> Punching, yeah. No. no, it seems that's good. Really safe and <laughs> yeah, it was a neat little town, Winter Haven. Yeah, very nice. And then, so we yeah. we got in the car. We had enough range to go to Arcadia. We drove all the way down there. Went to the Anytime Fitness. Yeah. Got a shower, shower and spent the night. And then, uh -huh. then we're on to today. We'll talk about today in the next video. So I think that's yeah. basically it for yesterday. So that was Denise's Saturday after having Friday off. Yeah, and. Nice. And we, made, we also made a preview video for tonight's dinner. We have a dinner tonight in Fort Myers. If you're watching this in time anyway, go to Spice Club. Go to plantbasedevents.info and click on the first event at the very top. You'll see it in RSVP and you have all the details. Yeah. We're fasting too. We had two pineapples for Ron. For, actually, we can't talk about this now. Well, we did. But anyway, we'll talk about this in the next video. You'll hear how it went tomorrow. Anything else? Nope. Because all we're doing is really anticipating this dinner tonight. That's what we're doing today. And we, oh, we got a ton of steps yesterday. We got so many steps at the market early on. Then we got so many steps at the wilderness. And we got so many steps walking around Lakeland. Then we got so many steps walking around Winter Haven. I don't even know how many steps we got yesterday. My, my Fitbit was dead, so half my, of it didn't count. <laughs> yeah, my legs are sore. 
All right, that's it. So make sure you let us know what we should do in Southwest Florida for the next two days, basically. That's all we're gonna be here. Then we're going to Texas, is that right? Yeah. I gotta get all my work done. I gotta get so much work done in the next two days. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Bye. Bye.